R right, so just following on from that last video, Jesus Christ is coming. That's what I've just said at the end of that last video. So I hope you're all right, family. Um, listen, I've, I've been, many of you know that I, I put up these, uh, these stickers, these stickers, um, Jesus, are you ready? Jesus Christ is coming soon. They're stickers and I put them, over, I put them all over this town and um, I, I've, sent, I've sent a couple of people some but if you if you live in the UK I, and you want some of these stickers, I could I could send you like thirty of them for free. I'll send you it for free. Just you'll have to email me. My email address is in the description box underneath the video. Click on that little arrow. Click on that, and you'll see the description box. And um, there's my email address. I think it's somewhere in there. I'll, I'll just check before I upload this video, but if you want some of these stickers, you people in the UK, then send me an email, uh, send me an email to my email address and I'll, and I'll send you some so they get, get around the UK, UK quick because um, I, I really don't think we've got much time left. I really don't. Whatever time is left, it's very, very short. Um, everything's about to hit the fan. Um, I mean, just look at the world, it's just falling to pieces. I just go into shops and some of the, sh many of the shelves are empty and stuff, you know? It's obvious we're living in the final moments of the end of this age. So I, I, I want to, I want people in the, in the UK to, to know that Jesus Christ is coming. And um, so, so wherever you are in the UK um, and you want some of these stickers to put them up in your town or city, send me an email and I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to uh, send you like 30, 30 at a time. I'm just, I'm just about to, set, I've got a pack, package in my rucksack and I've, I've got some for Annabelle. Sister Annabelle, if you're watching, I'm just about to post um, another 30 to you. So, I, I mean, I've got quite a lot and, well, quite a lot. I've, I've probably got, I don't know, I've probably got a couple of hundred or something. And the reason why I'm wanting to give them to you is to get them across the UK in different parts of the UK. So, you know, even if one or two people got saved by it, it would be worth it. So I just want people to know that, you know, to get saved. Um, so let, let me just pray. Uh, dear, dear loving Heavenly Father, I just pray that you would be glorified, Lord. Give me what to say to my, my, my beautiful family in Jesus' name. May they all feel blessed and a bit very hopeful. Fill them with hope because there's three things that shall abide forever. Faith, hope and love. So I pray you increase all three of them in everybody's heart. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Just may everybody go away feeling blessed and comforted and with tender loving forgivenesses, kindnesses and mercies upon everybody watching, dear Father, for your glory's sake, King Jesus Christ, in your beautiful name, Amen. So, listen guys, oh my gosh, I said in that last video, um, I think I'm going to cry. I, I mean, you, 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 you might, some people might mock and scoff, but I, my heart is really aching, really, really, I just... I love people and um, most people haven't got a clue what's coming on this world. Jesus said it would be so terrible that men's hearts will faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world. Now, if you're saved, you, you should not be afraid. Right, this is, the t this is really the, the time of testing of our faith. S stay the course, stay focused on Jesus and his promise because God cannot lie. Look at this great big world. We've got a big God, and He's uh, the same God that put us here in the first place can put us up in heaven as well, you know. So um, just stand on His promises. That's that's what I'm doing. This this is a time of uh, real testing of our faith, isn't it? You know, where we really have to stay on in God's word and. 
and uh, stay on his promises. Say some. I feel. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm gonna go home and cry my eyes out. I'm just. Um, oh, it's a. It's a heavy burden on on me to. To know all this stuff that the Lord has shown me is coming up on this world. From a fake alien abduction when all these Christians suddenly go missing when the Lord Jesus descends from heaven and he gathers all up into heaven who have ever believed on him and then this world shall be turned upside down and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna tell you that we were we were beamed up by by abducted by aliens that's what they're gonna say um, that that's that's the most likely scenario and I mean yes it, that's definitely what's gonna happen I mean They've been, they've been prepping and pro programming the masses through the TV uh, with alien, alien, alien stuff for, for so long that it's engraved in people's minds that they actually think that these demons which are posing as aliens have come from another world when the, the no they haven't nothing can get through the firmament the portals, windows in the firmament unless God God, you know, allows it or not. So these things, demons, aliens, posing, uh, demons posing as aliens, they're going to come back during the tribulation. There's going to be, when they turn on the 10G frequencies, there's going to, people are going to change. Certain people are going to change. There's going to be zombie apocalypse. There's going to be World War Three. I mean, when, when, the, when the first four seals are broken on, of the scroll, when the Lamb, Jesus, breaks those seals, then there's going to be two billion people are going to die from, from war, um, people killing one another, um, famine, starvation, and death. It's going to be horrendous. And then, so, so that's a, a quarter of the world's population gone. And then, then a bit later on during the seven year tribulation, another third of the population will be killed. The Bible says many, many men shall be burnt and few men left. So you don't want to be here for what's coming. So believe on Jesus if you haven't. It, it's, it's not about religion. You just believe that he did that for you on that cross. He died for you, for your sin and my sin. He died for our sins on that cross beautiful Lord Jesus Christ he was buried in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day as it is written and you just believe that in your heart say come into my life Lord don't be afraid or ashamed to call upon Jesus for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved Romans 10 13 please do it now if you haven't right I'm, I'm just gonna explain what what we're planning to do because um, I'm a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ and I go onto the streets and um, so what, what, I've, what I've arranged is that um, uh, t tomorrow I can't, I can't go out tomorrow because I've got, to, I've, got to pick up my, I've got to pick up my medicine tomorrow so it's not, it's not an ideal day today I've got to go to the laundrette and pick my laundry up so today wasn't a good day but um, Saturday and Sunday, I know Brother Steve he said he would come out on Saturday, so will Rob. So there's going to be three of us. I've got some brand new boards. Thank you, Mark and Nicole, if you watch. I don't think you watch, but I've got some boards, sandwich boards, and they say um, the, the last ones, which I left on the train but by accident, said Jesus is coming soon. Well, these new ones say Jesus Christ is coming any second now. So, and I've, I've got some different scriptures uh, written on, on them like when the son of man comes shall he find faith on the earth and a couple of other different ones so that's good so we'll all be wearing those we'll like, be ha handing out gospel tracks we'll be handing out gospel tracks and um, we'll just be doing our best to, to get people to the cross I tell you something let me just tell you a man has just walked past me mocking me I don't care he just went past mocking me but he's got a demon I told him the gospel he's rejected it um, people who reject 
God's free gift of everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Do you know where those people are going? Down, down into the pits of hell, in outer darkness, where they'll be weeping and wailing, grinding their teeth, gnashing their teeth, utterly consumed with terrors. And I don't want that for anybody. I don't want that for my worst enemy. Not only that, pe people who are rejecting Christ Jesus now, they're going to have to go through the apocalypse. And um, it's going to be absolutely horrific. It's going to be absolutely horrific. Um, oh my word. I, I tell you something, I feel, I feel just like going home and uh, crying my eyes out because people are rejecting so many people. I mean, it's the majority. It's the majority. I, I walked through town earlier on and people must be watching me online, obviously, in this town. And um, a group of lads walked past me, mocking me. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. A group of lads walked past me, mocking me, uh, calling me Jesus. But they said, you, you're right, Jesus, like this. I, I said, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> I try telling them I'm not Jesus. I've said it over and over again. And the more I say that, the more they do it. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believes. So if you, if you reject Jesus Christ, woo, I feel sorry for you if you do. But if you have accepted him, then you're my brother or you're my sister. I love you very much. Jesus loves you even more, obviously, and uh, we're gonna we're going home any second now, any second now we'll be, we'll be caught up in into the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and it's going to be wonderful. And God's somebody left a scripture verse. I can't remember who it was, but it's from Philippians. It says God will change these uh, vile bodies um, and fashion these bodies to a body like His own, a glorified body. So if you're like me and you've got things going wrong with your body, I mean, my feet are killing me all the time. I wake up with a terrible back and um, I'm just losing my youth each day that goes past. You know, when you're young, you think you're going to live forever, you know. You don't even consider growing old when you're young. But I'll tell you, when you get, get to 50 and you'll, you'll see. <laughs> right, um, I'm going to upload this one. I may even do another one later. I'm even thinking of doing a live stream. And Giuseppe, if you're watching, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you if you can do, uh, help me to get you to be a moderator. Listen, I'm going, guys. I love you very much. Jesus is coming.